So for today's games, we're going to play some Hipster Full Test. This is a deck that was uh, created and popularized by user The Flying Ram, and I have been seeing more and more of it on the ladder lately. It is full of a lot of combos and a lot of deck thinning, which is what makes it really powerful. Um, if you play Gwent, you know how powerful deck thinning is. And basically, if you're unfamiliar with the combo, uh, what you're trying to do is you're going to play a Redanian Elite, followed by a Reaver Scout on <clears throat> your Redanian Elite so that it pulls the second one. Then you're going to hope to play Vess, and then when Vess sticks on the board, you'll actually use your Leader ability on Full Test to copy a Scout to find your other Scouts from your deck, and then the third scout finds your third Redanian Elite, turning all three of these into gold. When these hit gold, each one will trigger Vess, who then finds your three Blue Stripes Commandos. And then if you do manage to continue playing in the round after that, like if they don't just auto-pass the round, um, King of Beggars will auto-find Priscilla from your deck, so it thins it uh, one more card yet again, and then she gets to draw and play a card for you. So. After you've done that, what you're left with in the deck is uh, powerful resurrect effects, so it's essentially your field medics, Shani, Baron, Neneke, um, so again, powerful resurrect effects. Uh, a couple of sergeants so that you can demote things, typically you're demoting your own Baron to then replay later with either Shani or Neneke. You're also left with uh, Geralt Igni, because it is just, it's a powerful gold card that you can uh, remove pesky <laughs> enemy boards uh, pretty well with. Uh, this is really good against, say, like the PFI match. Um, you're also left with uh, Stennis for card advantage, Decoy for delay, and uh, Decoy can also bounce back your demoted Bloody Barons, or it can bounce back your Neneke, and so on and so forth. And then in the final spot for the flex card, I've personally been running Mardrome just because it's great in the mirror if you can take out Vess. It's great against pesky uh, Akvist plays, um, even if you remove an opposing Priscilla so that they can't replay that over and over again. It, it tends to go a long way. So uh, this is the version that I've been playing. I do sometimes play a version uh, where instead of the Vess combo, I run some other things with uh, like Reaver Scouts in those uh, slots so if you ever want to see that just let me know in the comments below but today this is what we're gonna play with and uh, without further ado let's jump into some games humans have no place in Broccolon all right so here we go with Attack! the hipster full test deck all right so we start with we do have a reaver scout we have no Redanian Elite, however, and no Vess. There is our Vess. There is a King of Beggars. Uh, since we have King, we'll ship back Priscilla. And we actually did not find a Redanian Elite, so we might have to try to Come find to Poppy. Priscilla play. Did not Who do I Vess spy? Yet. gonna go ahead and I guess buff our Priscilla because we might end up playing her many times this Onward, game. But that is a bit of a concern because we did not find a Redanian Elite, so let's go ahead and bounce our Priscilla. I'll feed you to the crows! He's likely Peace playing with humans at Bythos! Buff all your guys in the front row. The deck. Not a bad idea. There we go. Long live the there king! Is the elite that we were looking for. This is probably a fireball trap. But we're broke as shit peddlers! We're going to reduce this. Your vet will avenge us, Duan! Everything. Onward, fry head! What a sneaky play. Idle town. I'm not interested. We still want to thin the deck out, so we still play the vest and then go for the combo. Close ranks! 
But we're broke as shit peddlers. Troops, here now! Semper Fi! And much like we thought, they went ahead and they passed. Yulvik will guide us. Oh. So they're just looking to get value. Or the guy that they are uh, planning on replaying often. Now that is a quality two cards that we drew, but again, your deck is significantly smaller. After you... I'm not afraid. Um, we'll take a shot at whatever this is. Your deck is significantly smaller after you thin everything out, right? So like everything right now, right. for example, we only have two cards left in our deck. We know one is a Geralt Igni. Uh, we do want to play Baron this round so that we can demote it. I've nothing to lose. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll Let's show below. him what real art is. Uh, I'm trigger that. Tell me you so just. Now we know that the last card in our deck is in fact Geralt. That is what we will draw next round. Onwards, Fryhead! You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. Go ahead and uh, place that there. You can just I'll avoid the feed you to the crows. Slaughter them to a man. What do you want of me? Oh, so uh, we have now found I'll feed you two to of the our uh, Redanian elites. We might actually just go ahead and use Neneke to give us a third at this point. Nasty wounds, though. Because I think that the is. locking another gold tower here is too strong to pass up. Because he is on Scoyatelli. Humans have no running place Aromancy, in which on the back row could have been could have been rough, but now it's a lot less of a concern. Um, let's go. To <laughs> Trying to stall. Enough of this farce. Bedry, Enry! You best yield now! We've got more units than he does, so we take Unicorn in this instance. And then we keep Shiny for the last round, because that'll give us uh, Shiny and the Rolls. We do have a pretty You'll be fine. So it might not even go to the last round. Pass and barring any unexpected, amazing plays here. Yeah. Oh, I thought maybe that would have been a, maybe a Teruvial, but we will take it. Hooray! Crush those vermin! So let's go ahead and play one more game with our Onward! hipster full Attack! test deck, just to see if we can finish strong and we are against another full test player which could be pfi or it could be hipster so we do have vests uh, we do have a reaver scout we do have one redanian elite so we want to shuffle at least one of those back and we do not want our blue stripes commandos so the rest seems strong if it is the mirror our mardrome for uh, vests could end up proving to be quite strong he Long live the king! He might have been missing a combo piece, or he might have just decided that he wants to give up the first round. Tiny battles, hungry like so a wolf. I am. 
can go ahead and... But uh, we're broke as shit peddlers! PFI presents a problem because he obviously runs uh, three Mardromes, so he has a strong likelihood of uh, smashing our vests. Now, a lot of times they get greedy, and they decide to I'll manage. instead Don't you to save the, the mutagens for their PFI. We hope that's the case. Ah, he's gonna let Close us do ranks. It. I think that's good for us. Because we do also have Geralt Igni for this play, but the fact that he's letting us Close pull off ranks. the combo is kind of a big deal. I told you so, you idiot! Troops! Here Again, now. we get our, our deck thinning. We flood the board. Semper Fi! All is right in the world. Since we know he's on PFI, it would be kinda nice if we could save. The ignorant day. But we do also have the option to demote it with a sergeant, if necessary. We could get one back with our medic. Answer with their own igni. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. Well, this is uh, the most beautiful PFI I have ever seen. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, closed beta. See, this is where I'm really tempted to just demote our own girl for later use. And I do think that that is what we're going to do. <laughs> we do have a second sergeant somewhere here for uh, Baron Tell me demotion. you just. So he could have uh, Commander's Horn, he could have Thunderbolt Potion, um, could have both. There's a lot of things he has here. Which Tell me you like just still choosing to not give up the round and uh, flood the board. We could also have Manticore for our own side, that's fair. I think we're gonna go ahead you and stand status. before Royal Majesty. Take Shani, seems like a quality card. There is the Thunderbolt, which only puts him uh, within one of us at the moment. So now the option is we can Neneke, a scout, can do a lot of things. He hasn't been playing Mardromes, which now is making me wonder if he actually has them. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and just delay. I was trying to save that as a, a counter. There is the commander's horn. Okay. So we at least made him use uh, Thunderbolt and commander's horn, both of which are very powerful, it looks like, for his build. Uh, I don't think that there is any way we take the power lead back from him at this point. And we are up a card, so I think that we have... But I do ultimately think this was a victory for us because if he does do major uh, buffing again, we have a demoted Geralt now uh, available to us. Uh, we did make him use Commander's Horn, at least one Thunderbolt, and his leader ability. And we finished up a card, and our hand is uh, very good at the moment. Wow. Go ahead and I guess Who do I spy? And we will take the decoy for Priscilla. Because that leaves us still up a card going into this final round. So we have, at least in my opinion, a lot of options available to us. What do you us, want of me? Which is rather nice. I 
kind of makes me sad that uh, we pulled our second sergeant. There. Where is that our first sergeant? That appears to be our first because we pulled it from the grave. My apologies. In my head, I thought we had just played Priscilla. So that's what we're looking for is... Well, how about a game of Gwent? A Stand and fight! Because we like making him uh, eat his own guy when possible. Fair. Three promoted, huh? How do we want to handle that? So the ideal scenario for us at the moment then would be to get two units above six, which is probably playing some blue stripes. Are you wounded again? We don't want him to get a ton nice of nice mess you've got here. Out of this, if possible. Rates. So right now, that is going to pull off these units, huh? So basically everything but Priscilla. So I think we're well, lacking some cool power here. Seven limbs, blood, and guts. Five. Also saves the uh, the sergeant there. Tiny vettles, hungry like a wolf I am. They would have put the bear in. And do another death to the strike. enemy. Further increasing our gold Carny power. Vettles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. And he's got the infantry. You best yield now. <laughs> so we are going to uh, win handily against a very odd build of PFI. I'm not gonna lie. So there you have it. I just wanted to say that I was sorry for the. Uh, lack of quality in this video and mostly for me not being my normal chatty self I normally explain my plays much better I'm normally talking about what's going on in my head uh, in a significantly better fashion at least in my experience or my opinion however I was kind of feeling under the weather when I recorded this and I was a little bit out of it so uh, I'm sorry and hopefully for the next round of videos I'll be back to uh, my normal self and not uh, the the shitty version that you saw here so uh as always thanks for watching and i hope to catch you next time